Good morning to you. Sometimes we struggle to sleep at night and we wonder why. Why are these things happening to me? When are these things going to stop? Lord, why am I even still here? Do you have a purpose for me? And sometimes Recognizing or realizing what your purpose is can be overshadowed by the pain that you experience, especially at a time like now, COVID-19, coronavirus, certain things people have built up their savings only to see their savings dwindle away. Perhaps you had a job that you thought would last forever and ever on man or a relationship. You thought you were going to do this until death us do part. But you know what? The only thing certain in life is change. Earlier today, I could not sleep. I woke up at about two o'clock in the morning. As I lay there in my bed, it was three o'clock. I looked at the clock, it was four o'clock. My thoughts were racing. I was trying to figure out things. I need my car fixed. I need this, I need that. Lord, why, why? Lord, am I really, is this it? I mean, this can't be it for me. Have you ever felt like that? Well, I don't want you to feel ashamed. It happens to the best of us. And it happens to most of us. But your life matters. And I'm going to tell you why your life matters. This morning as I was trying to process my thoughts and disrupt or interrupt the story I was telling myself that wasn't working out. Les Brown mentioned a lady named Tawana Williams. Tawana Williams has a book called Unarmed and Dangerous. Tawana, I know you're listening. And firstly, I want to thank you for answering my phone call this morning. Six o'clock my time, seven o'clock your time in North Carolina. Tawana was born without legs. No, she was born without arms. Let me get this correctly. She has used her toes to raise a daughter, change her diaper, feed her daughter. She uses her toes to paint. Basically, she uses her toes to do anything she needs to do and everything she needs to do. Tawana was born without arms because of a medication her mother received. That was almost 55 years ago, to be exact. But what she learned is that her life mattered. Miss Rogers once told her, if you needed it, you would have it. If God knew you needed it, you would have it. So if you don't have it, you don't need it. How many of us sat around and we look at our hands and our feet and all these different things and we think mentally we can't do it? Well, Tawana Williams is here to tell you that is not true. Wow, I needed hope today. And she is actually the hope coach. She gave me such a renewed hope as I sat here and listened to her speak and talk to me. I mean, she picked up the phone. I am so grateful. And hopefully today what I'm saying to you is a wake up call or is something you've been waiting for, something you've needed to hear. Your life matters. See, if Tawana Williams had not been brave enough to tell her story, if she had not answered the phone, most importantly, if she just had not even tried, had she given up, I wouldn't have received a ray of hope that I so desperately needed today. I want to encourage you to keep moving. I want to encourage you to keep telling your story. See, you don't have to be perfect. Part of the reason I haven't, you know, been as consistent or steadfast some days is because I've just wanted to be perfect. Perfect presentation. But what Miss Tawana Williams taught me, nothing has to be perfect. You just have to be willing to use whatever you got. And if that means it's your toes, then get to doing something. She said in life, there are times where we will have those figure it out moments. And when she had her daughter and the doctors had told her mother she wouldn't live, but she did. They told her if she lived, she couldn't walk, but she walked. They told her if she was alive and she could walk, she couldn't have a child, 
but she did. She has a daughter and she had to figure out how to put, change her daughter's diaper, clean her daughter, feed her daughter. And you know what she did? She learned. She used her toes to change her daughter's diapers. If you don't believe me, go on YouTube and Google her name, Tawana Williams, and you'll see her do it. <laughs> we have nothing to complain about. Sometimes we get so lost in our own struggles that we can't see the ray of hope or the light at the end of the tunnel. But I hope that you will take some time to rethink that thing. I hope you'll take some time to really decide that you matter. Your life matters. Hey, Antonio. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Leonard. Hey, Angela. All of those of you. Hey, Beverly. And you and you and you who have just tuned in to this particular live feed. Your life matters. And I want you to tell the enemy to go straight to hell from whence he came. Now, I, I was ashamed to tell you this, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be ashamed. I have thought about suicide many times in my life. And usually it happens when I think <sighs> I've missed it. But I am so grateful to God for Tawana Williams today. And I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for Antonio Petrie. He has a voice that is amazing. He can sing. Everybody has a gift. But when we're in the fight of our lives, we often forget. Emily, I thank God for you. I thank God for each of you. Maybe I haven't met you personally, but in some way I'm connected with you. Hopefully this was the phone call you needed. I want you to keep fighting. I want you to keep fighting. Do you hear me? I need you to keep fighting because somebody needs you to survive. I don't care what the raggedy people in your life have said. You matter. Your story matters. What has happened to you has happened to someone else. And whatever way you have chosen to handle it, thank God you're still here. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on about my new sister, Tawana Williams. See, she even talked about being addicted to crack cocaine. Her friend held the pipe, the crack pipe to her mouth and she was hooked. So here she was, 10 years addicted to crack cocaine, no arms, with a baby, and she had to use her toes. But she gave us these three things that made a difference, and I want to give them to you today. She said, number one, she had to change her mindset. She had to think differently. Number two, she had to change the people around her. She had to change her company. And number three, she had to change the way she saw herself. She saw herself differently. She didn't see herself as disabled. She didn't see herself as not having arms. She didn't use that as an excuse. She saw it as an opportunity to give God glory. I want to pass that hope on to you. Thank you, Tawana Williams, for answering my call today. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for putting it on YouTube. Thank you, Les Brown, for sharing her story. Go be great today. Cry if you need to. And when you're done, get back up, dust yourself off, go be great. I'm counting on you. I'm waiting on you. We're waiting on you inside the winner's circle. Enjoy your day.